It's a very disruptive time already. And this generation is charged with creating a new world that can address these complex problems. So our grandkids don't say this or this. Today, we have a chance to reimagine the way we work, play, consume and learn in harmony with our planet. To create a more positive future. This is what I'm passionate about. I'm Sarah Moran, CEO of Girl Geek Academy and host of this special episode of That Startup Show. To inspire change, often the first step is not only understanding the problem and finding the solution, but also changing the story. This is exactly what Rosie Thomas and her sister and co-founder Lucy did with their startup, which is tackling online bullying and hate in schools. Let's take a look at one of Australia's most powerful youth-driven movements, Project Rocket. My sister Lucy and I actually started Project Rocket um, when we were pretty fresh out of high school ourselves. We wanted to create a world where kindness and respect could thrive over bullying, hate and prejudice and all young people were free to realise their potential. Both of us had really different school experiences but we definitely both knew what it was like to be bullied and definitely saw our peers go through bullying too and can say firsthand that it's soul destroying. There were so many times when we just really wanted to stand up but we didn't know how. And so after finishing high school, um, you know, I guess we decided that we could be the people that really could stand up. But we looked around and saw that no one was doing anything about the issue of bullying in a way that actually reached young people or that was even cool or positive. And so we decided to launch Project Rocket to kind of fill that gap. The missing piece in the equation is the young voice. Project Rocket sends really passionate, highly trained young people into schools all over Australia. The workshops are so positive and strengths-based, basically helping young people stand up to bullying, hate and prejudice instead of stand by. So when Luce and I started Project Rocket, we basically based it on all the things that didn't work when we were at school. We decided to do the opposite. I'm Rosie Thomas. I had the best time on that startup show. Um, it was so amazing to meet um, the other competitors and the judges and just had an absolute blast. It's been a pretty wild ride. Looking at where we were back then, there's been some pretty significant changes. Um, some of them amazing and some of them challenges. Our team's grown probably about 12 back then to now 20. Uh, we've now hired a lot more young presenters so that we can reach more people in schools. In fact, in the month of June alone, our young presenters did the equivalent of a lap of the world in kilometres, but just here in Australia. Australia, and we announced a really big partnership um, with Facebook and Instagram. About a month after I appeared on that startup show, um, Facebook and Instagram announced that they'd be investing $1 million into Project Rocket, um, which was such, felt like a real coming of age moment, I think, for the organisation in, in sort of growing up. The organisation is now a teenager, um, Project Rocket's 13 years, and with this investment, we've launched a brand new program called the Digital Ambassadors Initiative. So we've basically been spent the last year travelling across Australia, turning 10,000 young people into Australia's first generation of digital ambassadors who are united and ready to challenge online hate and basically reclaim technology as a tool for positivity. So part of our mission since the show has really been trying to give up our platform and leverage that power so that young people can have their opinions heard. We were really, really excited to be invited to join Facebook's Global Safety Board which is a group made up of about 10 members worldwide that have basically come together to challenge the platform, um, to make it more safe and more kind, to shape its policies, its products, and the way that it basically interacts with a third of the world's population. And it's pretty cool to see that penny drop with young people and realize that when it comes to the digital world, they do have agency, that you know we are the creators. And if we want to live in a world that is kind and compassionate, we have to be the architects of that. When you see snippets like this, you see the glossy, shiny, flawless entrepreneur and just it is just not like that. In fact, if you're not effing up, you're not doing it right as far as I'm concerned. Um, the last year has seen an enormous amount of challenges and I light up when I say that because um, with every challenge brings an enormous amount of energy and focus and drive and problem solving, but it is really taxing. Some of the problems are the same problems that you keep facing and maybe you solve a little bit each time, but they keep rearing their ugly heads. Um, and the other ones are new problems, which are also exciting because it means we're in a totally new phase of growth. 
So what's next for Project Rocket? Um, we are so committed to building this world where kindness and respect can thrive over bullying, hate and prejudice. And what that means is spreading our message into every school across Australia. There are 9,600 schools in every pocket of Australia and we want to be in every single one of them, whether it be face to face or digitally or through Project Rocket TV. We are Australia's youth driven movement against bullying, hate and prejudice, but you don't have to be a young person to join the movement. Um, when it comes to tackling bullying, hate and prejudice in this world, we need everybody's help. Um, so get on board, um, become a member of Project Rocket and help us get into as many schools as possible so that we can really grow a really kind and compassionate and connected generation. And my advice to anybody that's sitting there with a burning idea, um, perhaps sitting on the edge really wanting to jump in but feeling that fear of imposter syndrome or that fear of perfectionism is just to get started. Um, because no matter how amazing or phenomenal an idea is, if it stays in your head, it's a total waste. But it's not until it gets out of your head that it actually gets to form and grow and change. So my advice would be to take small but regular steps every single day and tell as many people as you can about your idea so you're accountable to it. So where do we go from here? Can your startup make the world a better place? Let us know. We want to hear from you. Now, I've got to head off on my new sh spaceship, driverless car, robot, hover geekmobile. So I'll catch you next time on That Startup Show. Guys, I really want a self-driving house. Maybe I need a better car. Let's go food and drinks, but what makes you think that this life's made for a king? So many different things to do within the house.